Hello, my name's Matt and I'm one of the co-chairs and a volunteer here at the Ivy Heath Village Hall Charity. I'm here to give you a quick tour, I say quick, about 10 minutes of the new booking portal that we're using, which is called Lemon Booking. The first thing I would do is when you come to the booking portal is to click on calendar. On the mobile phone that appears under the menu, but here on a computer it's just the word calendar. You can also find it by reading the text at the top of the screen there to view availability. It loads up a calendar and you can see this is still in trial mode. Uh, so in August, you can see our availability uh, from when the system went live. If we have a look at next month, we've started to put in our regular hirers and all the different events and classes that we've currently got booked in. Some of which you can see are labeled like bounce. So you can go on there, click, you can see that it's bounce and there's the link to book into one of the sessions with the lovely bounce instructor. If you wanted to, there's also an option to download and add it to your Google or Outlook calendar. And there's all sorts of things from Zumba, Yoga, Slough Tabletop Club. Anyway, let's just say I wanted to book something for the last Friday in August. Maybe it's my son's birthday party or maybe it's something to do with work. So I scroll to the day I want to see. Oh, I can see it's available. There's something on in the hall that evening, but that's okay. I want a smaller room. We click request booking and we select the booking type. Um, as it says here, you need to register an account, but it does that for you as you fill out this form. I'm booking for myself, it's not for a business or a group, and I'm just going to put in that my name is Test the Tester. It's inventive, I know. It asks for your email address, and this is so you can get automatic email confirmations, but also so that uh, any invoices or anything like that can be sent straight to you by the system. You need to put a mobile phone number in here. As it says, it's if we need to contact you regarding your booking request or during your hire. And there's a test there to make sure you're not a robot. Give it a chance to load and then it will load the next section. You can go back and amend anything if you want to. We have different hire types here at the Overheath Village Hall with different rates. If you're not sure which suits you, click help and it gives you, gives you here a description of each different hire type. For something like a birthday party or a one-time event, it's an occasional hire. A regular hire it must have multiple bookings within you know, once a month or once every week, whatever it may be. So for a birthday party, it's gonna be occasional hire. Select the category that best fits what you're hiring for. In this case, it's a child's birthday party, but there's a few different options there. We have singing groups, teaching, coaching, well-being, drama, all sorts of things. Give it a moment and it will then load uh, a calendar view that we've just looked at and we're able to select uh, which date and time we want to look at. It gives you plenty of time. So if your internet drops out or it's a little bit slow like mine is right now, uh, you are able to, to take your time. You're not in a rush. It's not like buying a ticket for a concert where you've only got seven seconds to do it. So scroll down onto the calendar and select the date and time you are looking at. It will take a moment to load. Again, that's probably my internet, not yours. And then it will load up which rooms are available and their pricing. As it says at the top there, um, there are different times a day, but there's minimum four time slots so you have to book a minimum of an hour in our building at the moment we're only allowing occasional hirers to book up to a certain time in the evening and that's because a volunteer has to open up for occasional hirers um, and we're still trialing out different settings on the system but this is roughly what it looks like so let's say i want to book an hour in the community room which is our small downstairs side room uh, hosts about 25 people that's perfect for a birthday party so i click 4:45. i then click the finish time and it will highlight those four for me and it shows there an estimated cost on screen. The reason why it's an estimated cost is because if I then write in the comments a bit later that I'm doing something extravagant or that something's going to be messy there may be additional charges. Before those are added you will be informed by one of our booking volunteers. You can now see that my private event uh, has appeared, there it is, uh, and it's only pending, it's not booked at the moment. If I wanted to add more dates, I can do so either by clicking on the calendar or by clicking add slots. You need to describe what you're gonna do with the hire, what the point is. Again, that helps us decide how much, uh, whether we need to charge any extra for cleaning or a deposit, but it's a party for my six-year-old. I don't have a six-year-old, I'm just making this up. Um, a brief description is fine. How many people are gonna be in the room? Now, if this was for a class, we could then put a website in where you would book your place on the class or where someone could find your contact details. Where it says show details, it gives you extra information. For instance, Wi-Fi is available throughout the wall. The details are on the, um, 
next to the light switches in all the rooms. Uh, and there's also details on there about the kitchen. If you're booking the main hall, it shows you other information, like if you wish to uh, hire a bouncy castle, there's an additional fee for that and it explains where you're allowed to put it. And there's uh, information sheets for the stage, for instance, if you want to hire that. Again, uh, all of that is available depending on what room you select. You give some more information, as I've put there, this is a test for a video. The reason being is that this will form, once it's completed, will go onto a list for our volunteers to look at and vet or triage, whichever word you want to use. Now that public booking slider, just to let you know, if you select that you want it public, it will appear on the calendar, just like you saw with Bounce earlier. This is for a private party, so I don't want it public. And at the bottom there, we can see terms, conditions, links to social media, and also the email addresses if I get stuck. Next is the billing address, but if at any point I want to go back and actually change the time or add 50 minutes, I can just scroll up and do that. You pop in your billing address. This is the address where we need to contact you if we need to put something in writing or in the post. Um, it is required, obviously, and it has to be your address. It can't just be somewhere else. Um, you are the person making the booking, so even if you're making it for a business, you are responsible um, for the terms and conditions, which you'll see in just a moment. It then asks, will alcohol be consumed at the event? That changes. Uh, so we normally ask for a deposit if alcohol is going to be consumed. And then uh, we ask for a mobile number. You've already been asked for one number, so this is probably the same number. But as you can see there, it's in case we need to contact you. The terms and conditions are available to download there. Please ensure you read them before you agree to them. But once you've agreed, you've agreed. There's a GDR consent section there. The all information is held on a UK, UK server that is complicit with GDPR and is owned by Lemon Booking. And there we go. It tells you the booking request has been sent and it gives you a summary. You get a version of this automatically sent to your email. Now, I've put in a silly email address there, so I won't get one, but you would. And if you can look in the top right, it says test. So if your name was Angela, it would say Angela. You've, it's created an account for you. So you're able to come back to the website and have a look at any time. Now it says their estimated total cost, and that's because again, if we need to charge additional for whatever service it may be, or you know, charge deposit, that will change. But you'll be informed of that before we uh, confirm the booking. When you do try to um, access the account or view the booking form online, or view any invoices online, it will ask you to validate your email address. So make sure you've got your email address correct when you're filling out this booking form. Other parts of the booking portal, because uh, there's other pages you can see here, is an activities page. This gives you information about all the different regular classes that are going on at the Village Hall. Uh, and actually, I need to add to it. As you can see, it's still a work in progress. Uh, that's why we're in the trial period. So there's Bounce, Slough Tabletop Club, the Drama Club, a uh, yoga group that's multiple times throughout the week. Have a look at the calendar and you'll see when they're on. Um, or feel free to contact the details that are on the activities page. Going to facilities, it gives you photos of each room. Next up is facilities, which tells you about each room. It also gives you photos and shows you uh, what am amenities or services are available for that room and points out uh, any equipment or services that are available, additional fee. As you can see there in the main hall, there is a sound system, a projector system. There's a fee if you wish to bring a bounce castle and the prices on request for the stage. Each of these options have their own info sheet with more information. That comes up as a download link when you're doing the booking form. What you're able to do is if you fancy the look of the church room and you want to hire it for your event, you can literally have a look at pictures and then click that request booking. And that will take you to the form that I filled out uh, as Test McTest. We also now have the option to hire the whole building. So sometimes people wish to use multiple rooms or they just want to ensure that they have exclusive use of the village hall, the whole building and its car park. Finally, we have an FAQ page. Uh, we are updating this, so there's more information being added to this uh, and I'll also be updating the current payment terms which will be on this page as well. Um, they'll be on your invoice and things like that as well. Ha have a look at that before you make your booking uh, or by all means, if you have a question that you think isn't covered in the FAQs, our contact details are on the bottom of each page. There's an email address and our volunteers get back to you normally within a few days, but 
give them three to four working days. And there's a contact form on the contact page if you wish to contact us through that. Uh, you'll also find us on social media. Everything to do with the charity is still on our main website. Uh, and of course, you'll find us on all of the social medias. We're even now on TikTok. That's how popular uh, we are with the youth. So thanks very much for having a tour of our new booking system. Once we've accepted your booking request, you will get an invoice automatically emailed to you uh, with all the details about how to make payment. Once you've made payment, as it says there, the booking is confirmed.